The purpose of this video is to show you how to import inventory adjustments. So, and which is to get all of your quantities on hand updated uh, in your, as far as your stock is concerned. So the first step to this is to make sure all your products are in the system. Now, in order to do that, let's import some products quickly. Name the, um, make sure you go to inventory. You'll see all the underlined fields mean they're required, right? We have CATIG ID, we have type, and we have um, responsible. So we'll put these here. And I'll also have some pricing here. Standard price is going to be the Cost price and sales price we can have is list price. Now what we can do is go in and have some names here. We'll have test product, test product, category ID. We'll have um, all. That standard price. So now we can um, demo product, um, insane product, hot product, fake product. So just have a few examples here. We'll just use the same price for them all. And now we can go and export import our products test the import everything looks valid import and just like that we've brought all those products into our system now once all your products are in the system then you want to do your inventory adjustment now, to do the inventory adjustment, here's what the template looks like. So you're going to be able to take all your products and list them here. You're going to be able to define the units, the location, the location for all these ID, uh, for this adjustment, and then all your quantities. And we'll just create some crazy quantities to have on hand. And then we can file, export that data, and go to the inventory adjustment. Oops. Oops, there. Import the latest file. Test our import. Test product. It does not recognize test product. Do we have a test product? That's because we, well, we do have a test product. And what we're going to want to do here is let's get through here. Import, load file. So external ID and trigger file for external ID test product and field inventories. That's why change this to make sure it reads product. Then test the import. So make sure that's inventory slash product and then import it. And then you'll see here, there's your adjustment. When you start your inventory, there are all your real quantities. And when you validate your inventory, it posts those. And you'll see an inventory report. We have all of our products with all their quantities on hand. And if I go to my valuation, see my total inventory value according to the cost price of all of those quantities on hand. So let me know if you have any questions. Um, that is how in inventory adjustments and your quantities on hand can be imported into Odoo's version 12.